this is biotechnica and you're listening to india's first life science podcast the voice of biotechnica science is a wonder if you stop to ponder about it everything happening around you has a scientific explanation but can everything be explained to decipher this thought i rashmi welcome you all to another jaw dropping session on voice of biotechnica which will divulge 10 incredible scientific facts that i am sure you didn't learn in school knowledge has no end there are many anomalies that happen around us and we are certain there is absolutely no scientific explanation for the same scientists give crude guesses and make assumptions to justify what they perceive but still none of them seem convincing with the world evolving comes ever evolving science and we wish we had learned more about such facts in school it would have definitely caught my attention in each lecture and i am sure you feel the same dear listeners i request you to lend your ear till the very end of our session today to grasp your attention further let me tell you about our crazy science fact number 1 the unbelievable disease of insensitivity to pain till date we have heard about many disorders and how painful each episode is we usually associate diseases with gruesome symptoms and a lifetime supply of sufferings but did we ever wonder that there could be a disease which actually made a person feel absolutely no agony This is the congenital genetic disorder of insensitivity to pain. In this disease, since birth, a person cannot distinguish the sensation of touch, smell or pain. People have this syndrome can feel the difference between sharp and dull, hot and cold, but cannot sense, for example, a hot beverage burning their tongue. This congenital condition can lead to accumulation of wounds, bruises, broken bones and such health issues may go undetected over time and lead to a reduction in life expectancy. This condition may be caused by increased production of endorphins in the brain or due to mutations in the voltage gated sodium channel that we know as SCN9A. that lead to a truncated non functional protein as these channels are involved in the formation and propagation of action potentials in neurons it is expected that a loss of function mutation in the gene leads to abolished no susceptive pain propagation probably superheroes having this condition judging by the amount of fights they walk out through so let us look at science crazy science fact number 2 have you ever wondered what happens when an egg is cracked under the sea every day a lot of us cook meals using egg and countless number of times we have seen the animation of a cracked egg spilling out all its contents all over the place But what would happen if the same task were to happen miles below the earth's surface? If a diver were to take the egg and crack it underneath water, say at about 60 feet depth, the immense pressure allows the egg to actually retain its shape. This means the yolk still remains a pulp covered by the albumin in the same shape as that of the egg. the contents do not spill apart if you clap the yolk between your palm it gives a theatrical effect by bursting into numerous particles appearing just like dust for our crazy science fact number 3 we have brought the deepest ongoings of the sun for you did you know our sun is actually a hydrogen bomb how does it shine Numerous atomic fusions continuously take place on its surface. Four hydrogen atoms undergo a series of collisions eventually fusing together to form one helium atom. 
such reactions occur 100 million quadrillion quadrillion times each second on the sun it can release a significant quantity of energy as is predicted by e is equal to mc square the mass of one helium atom is a little less than the sum of the masses of four hydrogen atoms during the fusion process this missing mass is actually converted into energy our sun has enough hydrogen to continuously burn for another 5 billion years but the question arises that why does the entire sun not explode at once consuming all of its hydrogen atoms the explanation to this is that the fusion units are mainly protons with the same positive charge they repel each other taking incredibly high temperature more than about 15 crore centigrade to persuade them to fuse together such conditions can exist only in the sun's intensely hot core which makes up barely 1% of its volume now for crazy science fact 4 did you know a ball could actually fly if you drop a basketball from the top of a dam say at a height of 130 meters it seems to steadily pelt downwards before swerving off and hovering in the air this seems like it is flying and it seems to defy the laws of nature is it magic or is it science if you backspin the ball just before dropping it from the dam the ball deflects the air in front backwards the air applies an equal force forward on the ball just as Newton's third law suggests. This sends the ball flying parallel to the earth's surface. This is the incredible Magnus effect. It is a force exerted on a rapidly spinning sphere moving through air in a direction at an angle to the axis of the spin. People have wondered if the Magnus effect could be used to fly spaceships. Well, the intelligent answer to this would be, it requires air and cannot take place in the vacuum. So now time for our crazy science fact number 5. Have you popped your knuckles all the while you were listening to this show? Do you do it often or have you seen others doing it around you? People pop their knuckles, neck, fingers, back all the time. It may sound annoying, but it is more like a habit to some. There are many who suggest that popping your joints would actually make you prone to arthritis. There was a case study done on this hypothesis. A scientist popped his knuckle on one hand his entire life and did not pop it on the other hand. At the end of his long tenure, both the joints were examined. There was no significant effect found on the scientist who was or on the hand which was addicted to making these popping sounds. We all wonder then, what is the knuckle popping sound anyway? Many people believe that cracking knuckles is the bones realigning which couldn't be further from the truth. Actually, the process has all to do with your joints. Knuckle cracking is the audible sound that occurs when the joints of your fingers are stretched. These joints are called the synovial joints, which is surrounded by a fluid-filled capsule. The synovial fluid is there for lubrication and is made up of dissolved gas, mostly nitrogen. When you pull or bend your fingers, the two most used cracking motions, you stretch that fluid-filled capsule. This reduces the pressure inside the gas-packed fluid, causing a small nitrogen bubbles to form and then instantly pop. The collapsing bubble is what causes the loud crack that we hear. Now the reason for the sound being so loud isn't completely figured out. However, it is known why you can't crack the same joint over and over again. The gases take about 20 minutes to completely dissolve back into fluid. 
This is the refractory period or the amount of time that needs to pass until you can get cracking again. So for crazy science fact number 6, let us all dive into the feline world. We have learned that a cat will always land on their feet after a fall from the height. But why? Humans, on the other hand, face immense pressure on their feet while doing so and it becomes difficult. How do felines have this extraordinary gravity-defying ability? The cat's innate ability to reorient its body during the fall is called the writing reflex. It is observable in kittens as young as 3 weeks old and by 7 weeks this skill is fully developed. To analyze this further, in 1890, a French scientist Etienne Jules Mary tested the reflex by dropping a cat and used his chronographic camera to capture up to 60 consecutive frames per second of the entire cat's fall. Afterwards, he was able to watch this in slow motion and he saw how the cat began to shift its balance the second the fall began. A vestibular apparatus in the cat's inner ear acts as its balance and orientation compass. The cat always knows which way is up. Once a falling feline determines which part of its body should be upwards, it rotates its head to see where it is going to land. Next, their spines come to play. Cats have a unique skeletal structure with no collarbone and an unusually flexible backbone with about 30 vertebrae, while the humans have only 24. The feline's backbone allows it to correct its position during the freefall. As its back arches, the cat positions its front feet under it with the front paws close to its face to protect it from the sudden impact. On landing, the leg joints bear the weight of the impact. Their low body volume is to weight ratio allows them to slow their velocity while they fall. Crazy science fact number 7. Have you ever wondered how deep is the sea? Scuba divers usually go up to a maximum of 40 meters. If you were to invert the Eiffel Tower in the sea, it would say go up to 301 meters in depth. Now whales, they can stay at about 500 meters below the sea level. But have you wondered, can light travel this far? Yes, it can penetrate up to 1000 meters in depth, plunging the bottom of the ocean into deep silent darkness. The lowest point of the Grand Canyon, however, is at 1828 meters. Then how far did the famous Titanic sink? It can be found 3750 meters below the sea. James Cameron, however, is said to have reached roughly 10,898 meters depth. The deepest point on the earth stands at the bottom of the Mariana Trench called the Challenger Deep, something that we would have heard of at about 11,034 meters. Imagine the pressure built at this point. Now time for crazy fact number 8. There are many creatures with varying lifespan. From a mayfly living to just about a day, flies living to up to 17 days. We also have octopus living for about 3 years to rabbits who can live up to 12 long years. Japanese spider crab can even live up to a hundred years. But did you know scientists have discovered a creature that actually defies death? The immortal jellyfish Turritopsis dorni is now known as the official immortal creature known to mankind. It turns out 
that once the adult form of the species have reproduced they don't die but transform back cell back themselves into their juvenile polyp state now wouldn't that be a wonder if we could do the same they retract their tentacles their bodies shrink and they sink back to the ocean floor and start the cycle all over again interestingly this does not happen only once they can do it over and over again the only known way by which they can die is if they get consumed by another fish or if disease strikes the jelly this however has been seen under lab conditions and has not been experienced in nature now time for crazy science fact number 9 we all have heard about the big bang that created the universe as we know it well how would you like to actually witness something like that in 2022 scientists suggest the birth of a new star The supernova explosion would create a cosmic gem that would glitter in the northern wing of the constellation Cygnus. For the first time, astronomers are confidently predicting that a specific stellar system will explode within a defined period of time, becoming more than 10,000 times brighter than it is now. The explosion will be visible from the earth even with naked eye and it would be as bright as Polaris the northern star. The most recent supernova that was witnessed is also called as Kepler's supernova had been seen in the Milky Way galaxy on October 9, 1604. and for the last crazy science fact number 10 let us talk about the weather we all must have experienced a very hot summer or a really cold winter in our lives but what is the extreme temperature that you have faced did you know that the death valley california in usa is the hottest place on earth and the driest place in north america It holds the world's record for highest air temperature recorded which is 134 degree Fahrenheit 57 degree centigrade. It was recorded at the Furnace Creek on July 10th, 1913. Human body cells usually start to die around 41 degrees to 45 degree centigrade. Though With a lot of fluid intake we can survive higher temperatures. Imagine the travel through the death valley on one of its hotter days. Now let me lower the heat. The lowest natural temperature ever directly recorded at ground level on earth is minus 89.2 degree centigrade. Yes. It is at Soviet Vostok station in Antarctica and the record was made on July 21st 1983. It is by far the coldest uninhabited place on earth. So there you go. As promised, 10 amazing scientific facts were explored. I hope you enjoyed the session learning about the unusual things that are actually taking place around us. Do share your experiences or any such scientific facts that has caught your attention below. Do remember to tune in to your very own Voice of Biotechnica on every Wednesday to learn more about such jaw-dropping facts and news updates.